Hi folks, I'm Oliver and I'm the product manager for Ubuntu WSL as well as Ubuntu Desktop here at Canonical. Recently, we've had some really exciting news uh, with System D support coming to WSL. And if you're working with uh, Ubuntu on WSL, then this opens up a whole bunch of new opportunities when it comes to services, uh, web services, and the ability to use tools like SnapD to really improve your development workflows. Uh, for this video, I thought it might be nice to talk about how users might want to interact with different web services while they're developing inside Ubuntu on WSL, both in their native Windows browser and also inside WSL itself. So to demonstrate that, uh, I've put together a couple of mini sort of demos. So uh, obviously with systemd support enabled, uh, what, I, what I can do now is install uh, a bunch of snaps. And so I have a few installed at the moment, including a Nextcloud server. And if I run Snap Services, uh, I can actually see that this Nextcloud server uh, actually comes with uh, an Apache web server, MySQL database, uh, all the tools needed to enable the sort of file sharing uh, experience that Nextcloud is, is used for. Uh, and I can actually access this Nextcloud web server by going to localhost inside my um, native Windows browser uh, and uh, interacting with it there, um, which is great and it's very useful. Um, but what if you're developing um, uh, multiple projects that act as web servers simultaneously and you want to be able to switch between the two uh, and work in each without having to, uh, to, to, to mess around with, um, uh, with different configurations? Uh, well, this is where uh, a tool like LexD comes in. LexD is a, a sort of a, a wrapper around uh, sort of Lexi containers, which are really lightweight Ubuntu um, and other Linux distribution images that you can use to improve your sort of development workflow. So if I clear this uh, and I do Lexi list, you can see some of the containers that I've got up and running here on my instance. Uh, I've got a database server. Inside that is a, a, a very basic MySQL server. Uh, I have a container I've just created called New Site. Inside that, I've installed a, 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 an Apache web server. Uh, and then I also have another web server, which is another Apache web server. So both of those would want to talk uh, on the same ports. So uh, it would be hard to work on those simultaneously without using something like Let's See. Um, now, accessing these containers is very simple if you're doing that inside WSL, because when you create these containers, you can see that they each come with their own unique IP address. So if I in, uh, run Firefox inside my WSL instance using WSLG, and I bring that across here, uh, then I can actually uh, view each of these containers. Uh, so if I go 10, 10 9, uh, 177. Uh, so I can view uh, the web page that I've installed in my web server. Uh, I've used my uh, uh, amazing HTML skills to, uh, to, to edit that so we can make sure that's clear. Uh, and I can then immediately switch over to using um, to the other Apache web server uh, that's inside my new site container. Uh, so that's great and that's very handy uh, to um, uh, uh, be able to work on multiple projects simultaneously. But what if you want to access those web servers outside of WSL uh, and in your native Windows browser? Well, there's a couple of things we can do to enable that. And I'm going to show you one today, uh, which involves uh, adding a uh, profiles and devices to your Lexi containers. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to uh, cancel my Firefox. There we go, and uh, and create a new profile for my uh, new website. So if I go to um, Lexi profile create, uh, and I just name my profile Proxy three thousand, uh, and then this is a profile that I can assign to one container or multiple containers, and I can give that profile properties that each of those containers would, would then inherit. So in this case, what I'm going to do is add a device that allows the container to talk to uh, talk on my network via post uh, uh, port, sorry, 3000. Uh, so the way I'm going to do that is do uh, LXC profile device as proxy 3000. Uh, host port 3000, uh, and then I can do 
proxy connect TCP 127.0.0.1 and this is port 80 because this is the port that my web server is talking on inside my container and then we want to listen on TCP 127 and then port 3000. Just double check that. And there we go, we've added that device to that profile and now we need to add the profile to the container. So I do Lexi profile add new site proxy 3000. Great. So if I now go to port 3000 on my local host, I should be able to see the web server that's running inside my Lexi container because I'm now talking from the port 80 inside the container to port 3000 uh, on my local host. Uh, so that's great. And um, what I can do is actually assign multiple profiles to different containers to different ports so that I can easily switch between the two. So if I do Lexi profile list, uh, you can see that I actually have a number of different uh, uh, proxy profiles that I've assigned to uh, to different containers. And so if I actually go to localhost 4000, uh, then you can see I can also preview the web server that I'm running inside my web server container. Uh, so I can, again, work on both projects simultaneously by assigning those Lexi profiles to different containers. I hope that was useful. Uh, I hope that gave you a, 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 a good sneak peek into some of the things that you can do when working with, uh, uh, with web services inside Ubuntu on WSL. Thanks for listening. Take care.